Lord, open our lips. Only shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Well without end. Amen. The Lord's is its earth and its fullness. Come, Come let, let us, us adore, adore him. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness. And its fullness. Come, Come, let, let us adore, adore him. him. A mighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it. And the dry land shaped by his hands. The Lord, the Lord is, is the earth, earth and its fullness. fullness. Come, Come, let, let us, adore us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. The Lord, the Lord is, is the earth, earth and its fullness. fullness. Come, let, Come us let us adore, adore him. him. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massar in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. The Lord, the Lord is the earth, earth and its fullness. fullness. Come, Come, let, let us, adore us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall they enter my rest. The Lord, Lord is the earth, the earth and its fullness. fullness. Come, Come, let, let us, adore us adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without <coughs> end. Amen. The Lord, Lord is the is earth, earth and its fullness. fullness. Come, Come, let, let us, adore us adore him. 7 9 prayer. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come, Come unto, unto me and, and rest. rest. Lay, Lay down, down you really want. want. Lay down, down your head your upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was, weary and worn and sad. I found him in a resting place, and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give. The living water thirsty one, stoop down and drink and live. I came to Jesus and I drank. Of that life-giving stream, my thirst was crest, my soul revived, and now I live in him. I heard the voice of Jesus say, I am this dark world's light. Look unto me, your morn shall rise, and all your day be bright. I looked to Jesus, and I found in him my star, my son. And in that light of life I'll walk, till traveling days are done. My eyes watch for you before dawn. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands, and I will call upon you. Save me, and I will do your will. Arise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who, those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. That you, o Lord, are close, your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without end. Amen. My I eyes watch for, for you, you before, before dawn. dawn. The Lord is my strength, I will sing his praise, he is my salvation. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph, horse and rider he is thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God and I extol him, my father's God and I give him praise. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled high. The moving waters stood up like a dam. The deeps turned solid in the midst of the sea. The enemy said, I'll pursue and overtake them. 
I'll divide the plunder, I shall have my will. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. You blew with your breath, the sea closed over them. They went down like lead into the mighty waters. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you, so glorious in holiness, spreading fear through your deeds, you who do marvels? You stretch forth your hand, the earth engulfed them. Your love has guided the people you redeemed. Your power has led them to your holy dwelling place. You will lead them and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you've made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my strength. strength. I, I will sing, sing his praise. praise. He is my, he is my salvation. O praise the Lord, all, all you nations. nations. O praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord, all you nations. nations. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Brothers, you've been called and chosen. Work all the harder to justify it by good deeds. If you do all these things, there is no danger that you will ever fall away. In this way, you will be granted admittance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I call to you, Lord, you are my refuge. I call to you, Lord, you are my refuge. You are all I have in the land of the living. I call to you, Lord, you are my refuge. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I call to you, Lord, you are my refuge. Give your light, Lord, to those Lord, who sit in darkness darkness and in the shadow of death. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our Father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, he will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give your, give light, your light, Lord, to those who sit in darkness, darkness and in the shadow of death. Christ became man to make us sons and daughters of God, and he intercedes for us before God our Father. Let us thank him for his loving mercy and pray. Open to us the treasures of your love. You have enlightened us in baptism. We concentrate our day to you. Open to us the treasures of your love. Fill us with the praise of you today. 
May we take your word with us wherever we go. Open to us the treasures of your love. Teach us to respond to your word like Mary, our mother. May your word be fruitful in us. Open to us the treasures of your love. Give us courage when things go wrong. Strengthen us with faith in you, with hope in your promises, and with love of your will. Open to us the treasures of your love. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let the splendor of the resurrection light up our hearts and minds, Lord, scattering the shadows of death, and bringing us to the radiance of eternity, we make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And the prayer for vocations to the priesthood. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life. For the salvation, life, for the of, salvation of his brothers, brothers and sisters. We give, we give thanks to those priests who brought us the, the word of God, of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above, and above all, all the supreme of, of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, who called, called the apostles to follow you, we ask, we ask you to raise up new and, and generous vocations, vocations in, in, our the priesthood in our time. Send for the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit to open the hearts of the new generation, new generation to your call, to your call and enable them not, them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving of their whole lives and their whole lives, lives, lives through love, Jesus Christ, our Son, our Lord, Christ, who lives and reigns forever, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. We'll just say the Mass and uh, no devotions, no um, exposition. No, no. We know we are celebrating a big day today of the, of, the, of the parish. The Mass was in the newsletter. I came back yesterday. I will say the Mass. After that, we go home. Those who are coming back at 2, fine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Take yourselves, brothers, at the time when you were called. How many of you were wise in the ordinary sense of the word? How many were influential people or came from noble families? No, it was to shame the wise that God chose what is human by hu what is foolish by human reckoning, and to shame what is strong that he chose what is weak by human reckoning. Those whom the world thinks common and contemptible are the ones God has chosen. Those who are nothing at all to show up those who are everything. The human race has nothing to boast about to God, but you. God has members, made members of Christ Jesus, and by doing God's doing, he's become our wisdom and our virtue and our holiness and our freedom. As scripture says, if anyone wants to boast, let him boast about the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people that he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Happy, happy the, the people, people the Lord has, has chosen, chosen as his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Happy, Happy the people, people the, Lord the Lord has chosen, has chosen on his own. His own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Happy, Happy the, the people, people the Lord has, has chosen on his, his own. own. The gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another just as I have loved you, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man on his way abroad summoned his servants and entrusted the property to them. To, the, to one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, each in proportion to his ability. Then he set out. The man who had received the five talents promptly went and traded with them and made five more. The man who had received two made two more in the same way. But the man who had received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. Now a long time after, the master of those servants came back and went through the accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents came forward bringing five more. Sir, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. Here are five more that I have made. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have shown you can be faithful in small things. I'll trust you with greater. Come and join in your master's happiness. Next, the man with the two talents came forward. Sir, he said, you entrusted me with two talents. Here are two more that I have made. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have shown you can be faithful in small things. I will trust you with greater. Come and join in your master's happiness. Last came forward the man who had the one talent. Sir, said he, I have heard you were a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered. So I was afraid. And I went off and hid your talent in the ground. Here it is. It was yours. You have it back. But his master answered him, you wicked and lazy servant, so you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered. Well then, you should have deposited my money with the bankers and on my return, I would have recovered my capital with interest. So now, take the talent from him and give it to the man who has the five talents. For to everyone who has will be given more, and he will have more than enough. But from the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. As for this good-for-nothing servant, throw him into the dark, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord.
in this world order, the haves get more, while the have-nots will lose even the little that they have. It surely does not express the ideal of Jesus, which was for a community of love and sharing. But the paradox does have some practical applications. Like any machine or motor with moving parts, God's gifts must be kept in use in order to stay in good condition. No use leads to stagnation, rusted parts and clogging up valves. Physical and spiritual life degenerates <coughs> if kept in isolation and confinement. The abuse of life's gift can also destroy them even more than non-use. Today's readings enable us to integrate these factors in the use of our talents. <clears throat> the written word is just one part of the total process of arriving at the will and purpose of God. As we read the scriptures, the biblical texts interact with our personal, family, society and church expectations. We pray for the enlightenment of God's spirit while also seeking advice and reflecting on our experience. Those who have engaged in this dialogue would get more, while those who just sit tight are in danger of losing the little they have. <clears throat> Paul offers a central guiding norm for keeping up the quality of our life. Jesus is our sanctification, for he enables our best self to emerge, and he is our redemption, so that we form one living person with Jesus, our elder brother, whose spirit and example we try to follow in everything. Let us pray. Lord our God, do not allow us to dig a hole in the ground to bury ourselves with our talents. Make us go out to take the risk of investing ourselves in people and in the growth of your kingdom of love and justice. Lord, hear us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us in us now, our Father. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, <clears throat> God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice of at once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, true, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you send as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as in your dispassion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection, and so the angels and all the saints. We declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. So after Mass, there is no uh, de devotion, no exposition. We can go away. And uh, if you are coming back at 2 for the parish feast, you're welcome. Let us pray. <coughs> Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.